So hi everyone, welcome again. Uh, now we have talked about uh, sentiment analysis, uh, vision APIs, uh, and many other models. Uh, but uh, the talk of town is um, Gen AI or large language model, as we say uh, in machine learning uh, language. Now the uh, one way to connect to large language model is uh, pretty simple. You just uh, get a uh, uh, open AI token, um, uh, API and token, and then connect and do whatever you want. Uh, but if you want to connect to four or 4.0, um, obviously those are pretty expensive model. They are very good, but they are pretty expensive models. And, uh, um, and QOL means if you'll, like uh, ask them to do a means a bigger job like summarizing a lot lot amount of uh, text they will take a lot of uh, money um so but you must have heard that there are so many models like uh, uh like llama facebook model llama llama 2 llama 3 or uh, microsoft model 5 and uh, google's model uh, so there are so many open source models as well, uh, which are there and why we are not able to connect and they are equally good. You must have heard these in news and uh, why we are not able to connect to them. Um, why should we not use them? Because they are good. Now, why we are not using them is first thing. If you want to use any open source model, you want to run it on your system on on a server or somewhere and running a large language model requires a lot of computational power they require nvidia and uh, uh, those uh, gpus and all so it's not even if you download these models running them on a server will require computational resources which eventually require money so how can we get past to that how can we leverage large language model without giving any money okay yeah that's possible now again uh, i'm going to hugging face because it's pretty good so if you go to hugging face uh, you will see different um, options over here natural language processing um, computer vision multi-model a natural language processing uh, requires like uh, text summarization text classification uh, all those things uh, and even audio and all. Uh, so, and uh, what we want is, uh, so large language model, you don't even have to search for it. You just by default, if you just sort it by trending, you will see most of the models that we talked about right away uh, are here, Mistral. This, these are open source models. Again, very, very good. Uh, Meta, Meta's Llama and uh, uh, Microsoft Phi, uh, Llama, so these are uh, Llama 3, 3 billion, 8 billion uh, parameters, which means it's pretty good. Means And it, again, if you just want to see um, which are being downloaded and liked more, you can understand, okay, yeah, this which model is like very good, performing very good. So here you see Meta Llama uh, 3, 8 billion parameters uh, has been downloaded for like um, 100,000 times more than 900,000 times. And, uh, but uh, if you'll open it and uh, if you want to use it as a inference API, you will see, I means it in, even if it is available, uh, you will see a text over here. Model is too large to load in an inference API. So even if you try it, you will not be able to get this information because obviously it is very large loaded. And there are other ways to deploy it, which we will talk about in later videos. And again, this is a gated model. Uh, what gated model means that you will need uh, a consent from them uh, that uh, you, means even if you directly like uh, get the access, you they will not give you access. So you will have to, uh, I have already gotten the access, but maybe for Mistral I've not. Okay, I've already gotten, but you just have to click on that uh, uh, and fill a form and then you will be able to get the access. It's pretty, pretty simple and easy as well. Now, uh, so again, uh, we were not able to use Meta Llama 3, 8 billion parameters, 70 billion is not even a question. Uh, so there were, now when we are talking about uh, these uh, models of LLM models, 
uh, we have to understand that which model we use. And uh, even for me, I had to go uh, like, uh, so as you can see over here, I tried many models and like Phi 3, Mistral 7B, uh, Phi 3 SM to uh, to get to that uh, uh, to finalize which model i uh, really am able to uh, get uh, means use basically so and i ended it up ended up on this meta llama 3 8b instruct model uh, what is the difference between instruct model and this normal model is uh, this has been fine tuned for the question answer um, types so if you have a question and uh, like you want to answer it uh, means you want model to answer it then uh, it will be able to do it in a better way than the older model which is bigger but not fine-tuned on that so here you see now if i want to use this one uh, the inference api is working so you can see this over here and which is what we wanted but there are other models as well. Uh, Phi 3 um, is also working, um, uh, Microsoft Phi 3. And uh, then uh, what else? Mistral 7B was working as well for me. So uh, these four LLM models, you can use any one of them. I use Meta L uh, Llama because, uh, because uh, as you can see, 8 billion parameters and it's performing very well. So 2 million, uh, 2.5 million download downloads. So now what I did with it, uh, what I wanted, the scenario that I wanted with uh, uh, LLM was, um, so if I have an incident, I wanted to understand what is a risk as a score associated with the short description of that incident. And also not only the score I wanted, but I also wanted uh, that, um, can you evaluate what should be the risk of it? So as you can see, if I go to an incident, I've created a simple BR. I will talk about that uh, uh, in a minute. Uh, but uh, just to give you an example, see uh, SAP financial performance is poor. And if I check the AI evaluation, it says the high risk due to open vulnerability and despite patch application, risk score is nine, uh, which is, I think it's good. Uh, let's go to another incident. So this one, uh, getting automatically logged out of the SAP financial accounting, high risk due to potential unauthorized access to the sensitive information and risk score is eight, which is, yeah, nice. So, and how I did it, like, let's just uh, run it uh, again. So if I'll save it, uh, just give a minute. Uh, um, okay. Probably. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's loaded. So, okay, it's loaded uh, almost the same thing. High risk due to uh, potential unauthorized access to sensitive information, risk score is eight. And you saw that within one second, we were able to get uh, the information. And uh, uh, so we connected with Llama and uh, within one second, we, we are receiving response. Now, how we have connected and evaluating this risk. So, I've created a business rule, again, very simple. So what I'm sending as an input, input is nothing but a short description. And uh, I create a business rule on insert and update. Description should not be, uh, description is empty, otherwise it will go in loop. So, so, and if you see the code, so I'm using Meta Llama 8, uh, 3, 8B instruct uh, authorization please use your authorization code. This will not be working. And then in the input uh, payload, what I wanted was, uh, uh, so obviously you will have to play with the uh, payload for a while uh, because um, I means it was not working uh, very well uh, in couple of uh, uh, tries. So I had to play with it a lot to understand uh, what I really need and uh, what needs to be done. So here, what I've done, I have created a very uh, simple one-shot uh, prompt engineering 
a method where I'm giving system a general instruction that you are a risk analysis expert and you have to evalu evaluate a risk in 200 characters and provide a risk score in one to 10 where 10 is the highest user. Um, and then I gave an example, uh, provided an information, how it should be, uh, what, what user will give, why AI evaluation should provide an answer. Then the current short description is a user uh, providing that information as a user and then expecting AI evaluation as the next information. Now, once I provided that as a payload, uh, sent it to the LLM, uh, then parsing the response, all those things, uh, uh, doing some parsing over there because uh, again, um, this type of, uh, you will have to play a lot to get to the right uh, expectation it has not been configured in that way means open ai if you have money open ai is very very good but uh, where you uh, and the parsing and all information is very easy but here uh, parsing may be very difficult so i had to play with uh, what the information i'm getting and then parse it like i was getting the prompt itself in the uh, response. So I had to remove all this information and find, okay, yeah, this is the uh, expected value that I wanted and put it in the description. So once that all is done, uh, I'm getting this text after means yeah, the final information and uh, putting it in the description and updating. it. So again, um, means with uh, playing a little bit, which you will have to do obviously uh, for, with the prompt, I was able to connect with an LLM and this is actually a very good LLM. Uh, if you talk about its performance in with other LLMs, um, in means if it is free of cost, it's up to the mark to um, GPT-3 and GPT-3.5 and all other um, LLMs which are available in the system. So please use that. Uh, I used it for the risk analysis, um, but you can use it for uh, code interpretation or uh, code fixing even. So there are many models which are uh, directly only for code. Um, so here you see uh, code strawl and uh, code, uh, code instruct, so IBM. So there are many models that you can play with and uh, get this uh, connection going and then work on it on your use cases. So again, I'm going to uh, put this uh, uh, XML of this BR in the description. Please use that. I encourage you to uh, like uh, upload it in your PDI and start playing with it. Uh, if you'll just rem uh, like update your authorization, you don't have to do anything else. It means you can just enhance uh, uh, the uh, the prompt that I've written to make it more like if you want it as a sport analyst and you have a sport category um, in your short description or any other place, you can use that. Okay, yeah. Um, so on the basis of this, what should be the, uh, this uh, interpretation of this uh, short description in the sports analyst uh, way. So yeah. Play with it and uh, let me know uh, the result.